Hello, welcome to another Madison Square Bedroom Pedal Review. Today we're going to be looking at digital flangers. All three of these are kind of on the affordable end of the scale for, uh, for flangers. All three of these are digital. <clears throat> Starting with the uh, Stereo Electric Mistress from Electro Harmonics. This is approximately $119 new. Um, it's a good flanger. It also has a chorus function in it. Uh, it's obviously a copy of the, uh, sort of a digital copy in a smaller box of the old analog electric mistress with pretty much the same sound for the most part. Then we have the Digitech, uh, I think these are the X, yeah, X series turbo flanger. Uh, it's, as with all the pedals in this series, it has seven different functions in it. Uh, lots of versatility, real heavy metal case on these. I really like that. Pretty sturdy case on the electric missus mistress too. Uh, these, I don't know what they sell for new anymore. Somewhere between 50 and 75 bucks probably. And I'm not sure if they're being made, but they can still be bought new. Then on the very cheap end, the Dan Electro Fab core, uh, flanger in a plastic case. Uh, just a dedicated flanger by itself. It's only about 20 bucks. It's got some downside with that. Of course, you got the plastic case, plastic jacks, and a little bit of cheaper switch. But you know, it's it's cheap. So let's try it out as well. I'll be recording everything directly into the Zoom uh, recorder through a, a pod. So hopefully we don't have any issues with the pinhole mic in this camera. Uh, you should hear the direct mono sound out of each of these pedals. The Electric Mistress, Stereo Electric Mistress, and the Digitech are stereo pedals. I will not be demoing the stereo sound into two amps. These, all these will be mono output. Um, all in the same setting. And everything will be played through a Stratocaster with a bridge humbucker. That's all. Thank you. 